ई आर एंटिटी रिलेशनशिप मॉडलिंग एंटिटी रिलेशनशिप मॉडलिंग रिवॉल्व अराउंड इट इज़ डिवेलप अराउंड रियल वर्ल्ड थिंग्स दोज थिंग्स कैन बी इन एट और इन इन एट मीनिंग लिविंग और नॉन लिविंग अ स्टूडेंट इज़ अ लिविंग थिंग अ कोर्स इज़ नॉट समथिंग इज लिविंग सो वी नीड टू लुक एट दैम हाउ दे आर रिलेटेड हाउ दे वर्क टूगेदर विल गोइंग टू मोर डिटेल्स तो ई आर मॉडलिंग एंटिटी रिलेशनशिप मॉडलिंग सो वॉट इज एन एंटिटी entity is a real world object a course a student a university a teacher and a set of related entities can be there a student set these students are the students of the same university virtual university they are students in the bachelor's program of a certain degree program or a master student and so on Similarly, the sets don't have to be disjoint. A student can be registered in a course in a certain class, and for another course, that student may be registered but using the same class. So these sets don't have to be disjoint. I think you understand. Or if it's a dual major, if it's a dual major, a student may be registered in two departments. so the sets don't have to be disjoint now these entities which are of real into the things they have attributes they have the name of the student they have the address of the student the father name and these have domain and range for example the name cannot be a number and age cannot be negative phone number cannot be negative and there are different five basic types i will go into detail in the next slide So let's go to the next slide. So we have these five different types of attributes over here. So we have the simple attributes. The simple attributes are atomic; they cannot be broken. For example, uh, say it's the telephone number, mobile number. Maybe it's ten digits or it's eleven digits, but it cannot be broken. So that's the simple attribute. Composite attribute. uh i cannot uh, identify a person based upon the first name or the last name so i need i'm not talking about the primary key composite attributes is the attribute consist of multiple attributes like the first name and the last name derived attributes the data is not actually stored in the database the date of birth is stored but using the date of birth i can calculate the age of the person which changes every day then i have single valued attributes a student can have a single unique id right and i can have multi value attributes a single student can have a multiple mobile phones registered in his her name and of course i can have a combination of these attributes also so you see that i have entities types of attributes and their combinations let's go into more detail so how do you identify the students or the entities based upon the keys so i have the super key i have the candidate key the candidate key is a collection of attributes which uniquely identify an entry in a table right and if i if i remove if i change the attributes in the candidate key the the uniqueness is gone and the primary key is that unique key which identify a record or an entry in a table try to understand there is only one primary key but there can be multiple candidate keys these things will become become clear when you look at the material so i have this uh, relationship a student relationship with the course registered in that course and of course i have degree of relationship the degree of relationship means that how many entities are involved in a relationship how many entities are involved so a student is registered in a course so it's like a binary relationship one course entity student entity and the and the registration relationship now cardinality is the size set size from the set theory so different types of cardinalities uh, one to one 
so one entry entity in one set is uniquely linked with the with any other entity in the second set for example a person can have only one passport and a passport is assigned to one person a country can have a single flag and a single flag is associated with only a single company single country i'm sorry so then i have this one to many one to many so you see that over here i have this entity okay which is associated with many entities over here with many entities over here right and of course uh, one to many can be an example that uh, there is one address that is unique multiple people are living at that address you understand because if the address is not unique how would the delivery be made now many to one try to understand there is a slight difference between many to one i will try to explain it using an example over here so over here i can have one associated with many over here a state can be in one region a state can be in one region a city can be in one province there are many provinces but a city cannot be in multiple provinces at the same time and then finally is the many to many relationship is that for example a doctor can have many patients and a patient can have many doctors so we'll we'll work on this we'll we'll uh, use uh, them as the basis for developing the er modeling diagram when we go to the corresponding module that's all for this module thank you